In Costa Rica, the entire village of Ortega has descended upon a giant croc, but somehow it's evaded the net. They think they may have found its hiding spot. These guys have found a big crocodile cave and they think the crocodile's inside. So what they've done is they've looped the net around it and they're clearing away all the brush. Hopefully they're gonna flush this giant crocodile out of the cave and into our net and then we'll have him. Now that they're face to face with the croc, they can't take any chances. We want to bring the net closer in, so that way we don't have, we don't give them room to get away again. Not only is there a crocodile in there, but there's a very angry crocodile in there. I think when he comes out, he is just going to explode, and there's just going to be sheer chaos out here. I mean, we probably got a hundred people around the opening. This can't be safe. We're also inside the net, so when the crocodile comes out, we're trapped in the net with the croc. They have to be careful not to injure the croc as they try to draw it out, but there's no guarantee the croc won't injure them. <laughs> I mean, you can hear the thing. Go, oh, oh, it just bit, bit, just bit the stick. You can just hear it. I'm ready to run, though. Oh, look, now they're going to try to put it in a snare and get him by the upper jaw. Here he comes, here he comes. I saw the surge of bodies and they were, they were trying to drag it out of this burrow. I had some concerns about the crocodile. They have to secure the croc's jaws. Where's crowd control when you need it? I'm more afraid of the surging crowd than the giant croc. Getting the croc out of the cave is only half the battle. Normally when we capture a large crocodile, there's a strict protocol which we follow to move the crocodile from point A to point B. Well, in this situation, I mean, everybody was just whipped into a frenzy. The crocodile was the safest one out there. I mean, it was riding on a sea of hands well above everyone's heads while all the humans were getting stepped on and trampled and tripped and knocked over and hurt. And that crocodile came out unscathed. The thing has got away a half a ton. It's huge. After a considerable hike, they load the croc into a truck that will take it back to the village. This crocodile, they bring it to the center of the town. It's like a symbol. It's there for everybody to look at and to learn and to get up close because a lot of these people have never really been really up close to this crocodile. The crocodile will be here on display for the weekend and kept as comfortable as possible. It's uh, very important to keep crocodiles cool. If they overheat, it's very dangerous. Then they'll die. That's why it's important to keep it wet. For the children, it's a chance to get up close and personal with a living dinosaur. Whether at the National Aquarium in the States or here in Costa Rica, Maylen loves teaching kids about conservation. We have to teach about these animals. The crocodile is an ambassador almost for its population and maybe perhaps the survival of its species. I really wanted to get my point across to them that this animal was not really an animal to be feared, but an animal to be respected. The croc will remain the festival's main attraction for the next three days before going home. But there's more to the festival than just the crocodile. Crocfest has ballooned into a kind of country fair. Horseback competitions, games and food are all part of the draw. I think this festival brings people from all over the country to celebrate culture and traditions. And that's what it's all about. That's what Easter week was all about, is being with families, being with friends in traditions. Horseback riding is highly prized at Crocfest, and the rodeo is a chance to show off. 
Brady's been invited to participate in a type of Costa Rican joust. The idea is to get on the horse at a full gallop and use a little stick about the size of a pencil and get it through a ring about the size of a wedding ring, which is on a clothesline over there. And then you win prizes. It looks impossible. You want to test your own horse? I think that would be wise. Yeah, let me test her out. Let me take her for a spin. This is one beast that might get the better of Brady. Now it's Brady's turn. Nobody let me use a stick. I had to use a ballpoint pen. It's crazy. I think it's impossible. Woo! <laughs> It's Easter Monday and the weekend celebration is winding down. He is going home. Counting the minutes. It's time to load up the weekend guest and take him home. Two days of inactivity have left him lethargic, but none the worse for wear. It's important to return the crocodile back to the area where you found it because crocodiles are territorial. We want to make sure that we don't create any conflicts by uh, dropping it into somebody else's territory. Woo! That's a day's work right there. <laughs> he obviously doesn't know we're taking him home. He's not cooperating. As an ambassador for its species, the croc has done its job well. Really, the first step in crocodile management is educating kids. If you educate kids to the value of crocodiles. That's something that's going to stay with them and then as adults they're going to appreciate and respect crocodiles and pass that knowledge and that respect on to their kids. Whoa, it's pulling the truck, pulling the whole truck. You gotta put the brake on. Whoa, whoa. It's hard work convincing him to go home. Dragging them does not hurt them. I mean, this is very thick, tough skin. You tell your mail, thank you very much, and you know, we've really enjoyed the festival and it makes me very happy that they no longer kill the animal and that we're releasing it back where we captured it. Que llevamos y que queremos el bicho. Mm -hmm. He says he's, he feels very emotional about this and That's that, great. you know, they're very, very proud to have this festival going yeah. on. And by not killing the animal, it gives little guys like him an opportunity to see these animals and, and hopefully when he grows up, pass on the tradition. So can we release him and let him go? Ya los podemos li liberar, está yeah. bien? All right, okay. great. Okay. okay. He's probably going to just sit there for a while. Yeah. Got Look at that. Got his mouth open again. He's ready. He's ready. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. He's gone. Oh, yeah. Woo! Adios! Yeah! That's great. Look at him up on the surface. He's headed back to his cave, Cueva. Just gives me a good feeling inside. Tell Don Yamil I'm happy. Great. I'm coming back next year. We're both, we'll be back. Yeah. And we'll get a bigger one, Mas Grande. See? For Brady and May Lynn, Crop Fest has been a great way to spread the message of conservation. I just absolutely fell in love with Ortega and it's got amazing people with a lot of heart. And I'm just very proud of my country, and they're very conscious about conservation and education. Crockfest was great. It was one of the most rewarding things that Malin and I have ever done together. She showed me another side of her country, which I had never seen. I think it brought us closer together. 